It has been a century since Harriet Tubman was alive fighting for freedom. Thankfully, her work has not been forgotten. The Lock 3 Museum in St. Catharines is keeping her legacy alive in honor of the 100th anniversary of her passing. And we're honoring her legacy um, tonight with a tour of our Follow the North Star, Star exhibit, which, fe which features Harriet Tubman. Um, and then a reading and some, uh, a musical showcase of uh, the new musical, A Desperate Road to Freedom. What does the North Star exhibit that is here tonight showcase? Um, the Follow the North Star exhibit um, basically takes you through the museum and connects all of the Underground Railroad history to St. Catharines. So obviously the museum covers St. Catharines history. The North Star exhibit highlights all of the pieces that relate to the Underground Railroad. Of course, St. Catharines was a major terminus of the Underground Railroad, a final destination for a lot of escaping slaves, um, and Harriet Tubman actually spent some time here as well. Contributing to this special evening was special guest Kathleen Bradford, who authored A Desperate Road to Freedom. The book uh, covers a family who were slaves in Virginia in, in the United States, and they decide to run because they're afraid that uh, their daughter is going to be sold as their other children had been sold. So it covers their journey through the Underground Railroad from Virginia up to eventually Canada, and they ended up in Owen Sound, which was the northern terminus, more or less, of the Underground Railroad. What led you to create this book? Basically, it was because my husband and I retired to Own Sound. Own Sound was my husband's hometown, it was my father's hometown, it was my mother's aunt's hometown. It was roots for us. And when we moved up there, I found out that, Northern, that Own Sound was the northern terminus of the Underground Railroad. And this intrigued me. I started learning a bit more about it and finding out a lot more about it and realized that this was a story that needed to be told. So I wrote it. Bradford's book also inspired a musical presentation which closed tonight's event. What I've chosen from the play to show tonight is a scene that demonstrates the politics that existed here in Canada at the time. We have this idea that the slaves came to Canada and everything was hunky-dory, just the same as, you know, I mean, that's the stereotype, but it wasn't like that. There was the fugitive slave law that allowed slave catchers to come and take people even free people and grab them off the streets and take them back into slavery in the U.S. And so we're going to look at that kind of situation. Tonight's showcase was a reminder of the impact Harriet Tubman had on the region and the North Star exhibit will remain a permanent display here at the Lock 3 Museum to provide an even closer look at the legacy she left behind. In St. Catharines reporting for The Source, I'm Brendan Sylvia.